Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? So today I wanted to show you this makeup look. It's kind of like my current everyday, like every time I do my makeup, makeup look. It's more like minimalistic in terms of my eyes are blank. There is no eyeliner, there is no mascara. Okay, because I've been trying to give my left eye a little break if you don't know what I'm talking about. This video will probably explain to you, just um, go watch it. Long story short, I have a scar in my eye and till I get uh, checked up by my doctor again, I just don't want to do too much to my eyes. I just don't want to get too close to my eye, if that makes sense. It just makes me feel more at ease and it's also just so nice and fresh and faster to do. I am trying to focus a lot on my complexion, especially my cheeks. I am obsessed with these blushed, highlighted cheeks. Love it so much. If you want to know how I got this makeup look and want to hang out with me, then let's just jump right into it. Okay, I have no ring light with me today, so makeshift kind of type of way I took a lamp that is right behind my camera and it's not really doing a lot and I have two big windows right here and I feel like every time I film at my boyfriend's house I look so pale and so washed out so excuse that but let's get right into this look so for concealer I'm going to be using two different ones I'm going to use the Catrice liquid camouflage under my eye and also everywhere else where I need it but I like to mix it with this True Skin Concealer. It is also from Catrice and you know how much I love the True Skin Foundation. This one is the concealer that I hadn't tried. The shade is not really right for me. As you can see it is a lot darker than the other one so I tend to mix them together especially on my face. Like under my eyes I only use the lighter one but I really like this formula. What I like about it is actually the doe foot. It's such a nice doe foot. It's super soft so these have been the two concealers that I use. to be setting that because I'm looking extra shiny and especially when I film here my face looks extremely shiny even though I set it I guess it's just kind of like the reflection of the light and everything so my skin doesn't look this glowy in real life for bronzer I'm going to use one from the brand LOV or love I guess sun blurring bronzing powder. I've had this for a little bit too long, but I just love The color it's actually like brown cocoa colored. So I really enjoy this undertone This one is in 020 seductive bronze. It's such a nice shade I've been using some things that are probably Older or not available anymore because I'm really trying to get through products in my collection because I do have I feel like a little bit too much for like a normal person, but still like not over the top, but trying to get through more products. So that is why I'm going to be using this one. For blush, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Encourage. It's kind of like a mauve shade. What I've been loving to do is actually top that with a shimmer blush. This one is from a German drugstore brand. It is from the brand Trend It Up and it's called the Super Glow Baked Blush in the shade 030. It has like a more pinky, berry and a gold kind of color shimmer all throughout it. It's definitely like a blush topper. So I use my blush brush. I pick up some of that and I go right over that, keeping it mainly here on the higher points. Now before I use my highlighter, what I like to do, every time I use my blush, I feel like edges don't look perfect. They look a little bit too harsh. I like to go in with my powder brush again and just very lightly, it's not going to perfect it too much, but just very lightly go over these inner edges. I feel like it helps a lot. 
even if it doesn't change that much it makes me just feel at ease for highlighter i'm going to be using the same brush and i'm using the catrice more than glow highlighter but this one is the more pinky one this is in the shade 020 supreme rose beam i have been using this a lot because i've been trying to use this more pinky shade more Now, the last couple of times I've done my makeup, I have used the Catrice palette. Even though my eye makeup has been so simple, I have used this crease shade. I'm actually going to be using my bronzer again and then highlight my inner corners with my highlighter. So it's easier, it's faster. I mean, I could have used the palette, but if you're following this, I guess it's faster for you to do it this way. So all I've been doing is I take my bronzer into my crease, not all the way. I only go halfway in because I do have quite round eyes and I don't like to accentuate the roundness too much. So I keep my color usually in here and drag it outwards. And I'm also putting it into the outer part of my eye. Finishing up the eye area, I am going to be doing my brows. I do them how I would usually do my routine. I just try to fill them in lighter because I don't have anything really framing my eyes. I feel like if I do my brows how I usually do them, it just looks way too heavy. So I try to fill them in very, very lightly. And applying my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. And last but not least, finally, the lips. So I have been loving a combo that is nice and glossy, a little bit of color. I just feel like with these glowy everyday makeup looks, mad lips, it's just not the vibe. <laughs> it's just not it. I love a glossy lip. I'm lining my lips with Nude Truffle by NYX first. If you have been following me, you know how much I love Nude Beige by NYX. But this color is so nice when I want a little bit more of a brown contour. I feel like this could be the perfect lip liner. If you have darker skin, the way Nude Beige is for me. I really recommend Nude Beige and Nude Truffle. There are such beautiful neutral shades and this one is just such a nice neutral brown. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's just stunning. Then I like to apply the L'Oreal Colorway Shine Lipstick in the shade MLBB or hashtag MLBB very lightly because it, this is such a light nude. And for the actual gloss, this is something people either love or hate. I personally love it. It is a pH adjusting lip gloss. This one is from Essence, super inexpensive. And you will see it'll start to change color gradually. I love the tinting effect or like the color changing effect because I do have such pale lips. But what I love the most about it is the formula. This has to be the smoothest buttery lip gloss I've ever tried. This is such an amazing formula. I love it. Like they did something with that. It is so good. I Every time I use it, I'm like, why am I not using this every day? And I have been using it every day and I've been loving how it looks. This is the finished look. I would usually get this done in under 10 minutes, absolutely. But today it took a little longer because I was explaining. So I think I'm going to be doing my hair and I'll be right back. Et voila, my hair is done. A little half up with some curls in it. I've been really liking this look. It's very cute with the pearls as well. So that, you guys, completes today's little makeup look. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me again. Sitting down and filming always kind of grounds me and I feel very good afterwards. And I'm just very grateful that I'm able to do this and that I have such a loving support group. Um, like you guys are always so sweet to me. Your comments are always so sweet and it just shows me there are amazing people out there in the world even though we tend to hear so much negative and bad 
things I am just so happy that you guys are so loving and I hope my videos show you the love that you have been giving me I really hope that you feel just as good after watching my videos as I feel after filming that would really mean a lot to me if that was the case so again thank you so much for tuning in today and as usual give me a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you next week bye